Hello again, my delightfully evil little tiny bumblebees. It is I, Philip Magnus, and I'm back with more XCOM 2. Welcome back. I would say commander, but we all know that I am the commander here, and you have no say in that. First, the task at hand. Let's promote some people. Let's see what Serving good old demolitions experts. The Ooh. grenadiers provide heavy ordnance delivery whenever and wherever we need it. Good, excellent. I would even say. A grenadier, new ability: launch grenade. Well, that one I kind of got by my lonesome, but I suppose it will do. How about the next one? Oh, a sniper! Just like it sounds, our sharpshooter. Our sharpshooter. Sorry, not sniper. Accuracy from extreme range. Hey, don't mind. Also trained in pistol marksmanship for the occasional close encounter. I'm a big fan of those. New ability is squad sight. You can target enemies within squad mate sight, provided there is line of sight to the target. Useful. Kind of like, I suppose, the officer's, the advent officer's mark ability, which we saw last episode. Oh my, she's gravely wounded. They all are, come to think of it. Except that guy. That guy. Operating some of our most advanced equipment. Specialists deploy robotic drones on the battlefield that can be outfitted for combat or field medic duty. He is the MVP. Eight protocol. Command your gremlin to move to a friendly target. It grants that target a bonus to defense until the start of the next player turn. That is actually useful and different from the support from last game. I'll take it. Awesome. Now let's get to engineering. Hello. Okay. Reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from their old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you'd think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer, at your service. You were probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad oh. ate everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. Poor dad. He would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. For someone who doesn't speak, I leave a, a lot of here, memorable impressions. Probably because of the fact. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed at what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. It was an honor having been met, I suppose. Oh, I should be able to a med some of this a med kit. No time at all. Lovely. I'd suggest we get started with a med kit. It'll probably come in handy sooner rather than later. The med kit contains a pressurized solution that, when exposed to air, acts as a sealant and insulator, infused with painkillers and antiseptics. The med kit can treat wounds and remove a variety of adverse conditions, including burns and poison. Great. Looks Thank like Titan you. has made progress on his research. We should meet him in the lab. Hello, part of me. I miss you so much. Much of my own research based upon this simple design. If only I had known. Ah, this car's again. Excellent timing. There's been some progress. I've managed to break down several key components of the chip implanted into your skull. My analysis reveals that its primary function was that of a conduit, passing a vast amount of data directly to your cerebral cortex. With the primary That's not nice. severed, much of that data is lost. Several fragments do remain, however. Uh, ghosts, if you will. Observe. Tactical combat simulations. War games. The sheer volume of encounters you were processing was astounding. It 
It is truly remarkable. Why are you trying to tell me that the intuitive enemy within was a combat simulation? Some hmm. Good news. This chip bears a kind of a clever way to go about retconning the game. <laughs> at the gene therapy clinic in New Providence. My understanding was that the implants were intended for high-ranking advent officers only. Captains are above. Retrieving a chip from such an officer would be the only way to know for certain. A greater understanding of these implants would undoubtedly benefit us all, Commander. Bag and tag. This is definitely going to be a bag and tag mission. Objective added. Oh, but I already have some of those corpses. The Advent officers have clearly been modified to allow for their subordinates to receive new orders psionically. The implanted chip is the key. Right, we've got plenty of new research to do. Let's see, three days, three days. And three days again. Modular weapons. The magnetic rifles used by Advent's forces. You know, I think I'm going to go with researching the Advent Office uh, autopsy, just out of pure curiosity. The Advent Officers appear to be similar, if not physically the same as the common Advent Trooper, in terms of power and agility. However, field reports indicate a more developed mental acuity as the officers do provide tactical directives to the subordinate advent forces. Oh, lovely. Alien blood in my eyes. Area of research to kind be of the more lead, actually. Intriguing options available. We'll begin work immediately. I'll send word when a complete report is available. Looks like Shen got that converter up and running, Commander. We're ready for you on the bridge. Commander, good. I think we got something here. Despite all of Advent's efforts, there are still people who refuse to believe their lies. And it's time we let them know they're not alone. Well, We've when your lies are a target full of bullshit, operation. it's only natural. In our current location, there's actually no way the Sky Ranger could reach that position. Who said anything about the Sky Ranger? Shen, status report. Are we ready? Short answer? Yes. But you might all want to hold on to something. Oh! The base travels around the world. Is the base a helicarrier? The base looks like a helicarrier. Doesn't it? I mean, it does. Please! Oh, yes! Oh, oh! That is one sweet ride. I should have gotten some popcorn. Oh well. Setting course for Sector 8, Mexico. Ah, I love this so much. Is there a lot of this in the game, I wonder? Probably. We're ready to start making moves, Commander. By hitting Advent wherever we find them, we can help strengthen the Resistance. In return, they'll contribute material and personnel to support our operations. You know, I'm pretty sure we're kind of the Resistance, so I don't mind that. Let's see, destroy the alien relay. Operation Burry Skies, difficulty easy. Oh, an engineer as a reward. So we're into human trafficking as well. Lovely. Finally, something I can Commander, get behind. It looks like Shen prepped a med kit for us. We should equip one of our soldiers with it before they deploy. Entirely possible that I might have spent 20 minutes just playing around with, you know, all the wonderful customization I can do with these characters. And so things look a bit different now. Let's just get on with it before I lose another large portion of my life playing better. Sky Ranger the squad is ready to deploy on your order, Commander. Lovely. Time to get on with it. 
Dr. Tigan has picked up a signal from a hidden alien communications relay sending data to the Advent network from this area. Anything we can do to disrupt the aliens' logistics increases our chances of stopping their progress. We'll need to secure the area and eliminate any hostiles, then destroy the relay before they finish their transmission. Very simple, very straightforward. Love it. And for some reason my FPS dropped to 10 for a moment there. Well, it's loading. Right, objectives. Neutralize all enemies and do that other thing as well. To be entirely honest, I would be... Just... The communications relay is up ahead. Move in and destroy the target. A tiny bit suspicious the of the giant flying device. But hey, that's probably just me. Moving out. Now what I like about XCOM 2 so far is well I like quite a lot really. But in particular Heading to that location. I like the fact that the advent have taken Whereas the public is concerned, or most of the public, the role that XCOM had in XCOM Enemy oh, yeah. Unknown. And indeed, the group that is supposedly protecting humanity from the insurgents. Moving to position. I, in this case, XCOM. Which, by the way, unpleasant, but I only expected it. So I need to actually destroy this in 8 turns, or less. That's not perfect, as you might imagine. Heading there now. But it should be simple enough. I succeeded last time after all. This is going a bit further. Roger that. Yes. I will succeed nonetheless. See, now... This would be a good spot to hide, but I feel that this one might be better. Concealment is interesting, mainly because it allows me Moving to up. act as the aliens acted in the last game. To be the hidden force, unseen, moving without the enemy's knowledge. In case you don't remember, or you've never played the original game. Ooh, rushing off. Back in the day, XCOM soldiers were sent wherever there was an alien incursion and they were left to fend off for themselves, not knowing where the enemy is. Now, I still don't know where exactly the enemy is. Well, now I do. But. Suffice to say. Affirmative, moving out. They have absolutely no idea we are here at all. And that's fine by me. Will do. Very much so. I'm taking risky moves right now. But that's that's just me being a bad player of XCOM. Whew. I'm still out of sight. Oh, look. Huh. I can actually... Get up here. Hmm. Would it be a good idea? Possibly. Sure. Will do. And they didn't see her. Surprising. Go Canada. And now to prepare the ambush. Right. Uh oh. They see me here. They will not see me here. 
which is good. Hmm. Let's see, 70% and 68%. That's actually very good. I want to see if I can do even better. You know what? I think 72. Got it right. Time to gun them down. And it is a successful hit. Move along. Let my overwatch take you to hell. Hello, traitor to the human race. Die, please. Excellent. Got him. Run away, little civilians. Hmm. That was quite rather a good beginning, I suppose. Uh oh. Oh my. A sectoid like creature again. I don't like those. I need to get under cover. This is a good spot. Hmm. Forty six per cent. Can we get a better shot? Perhaps here. Heading there now. Is it better? 66? 66 is very good. I'll take 66 any day. It was enough. Enemy destroyed. Let bullets rain down on that little traitor. I suppose I really quite enjoy the concept of XCOM 2. Oh god. Yes, besides these things happening, which can have quite often catastrophic, absolutely catastrophic consequences on every perfect plan, I really enjoy the reversal of roles. It's just fantastic. Position confirmed. Actually, I had 70%. Oh, I'm even better now. Come on, Plumman. Excellent. Well done, Plumman. Mr. Virgil, now would be a good time for you to show yourself as a true hero. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Let's see. Can you do something? You can do absolutely nothing because today it appears you are the most useless of XCOM soldiers. Let's see. Heading out. I think I can get a shot, but maybe not. Possibly not. Oh, I can't even see him. Maybe I should have gone up. No matter. He's going to raise the dead with his evil necromantic magics. I know, I know, it's science. Don't look at me like that. And yes, I'm going to keep making that joke until someone bloody well laughs. The alien transmission is still active and we're running out of time. Get to the relay and take it out. Yes, I'm always... ASAP. I'm almost there. Stay calm. This might be risky. Okay. But I'm pretty sure... This one is going to get a bullet in his... Big head. And a critical one at that. And someone Kill has earned out. a promotion, I'm sure. Bye-bye. Ah, dead bodies dying again. It... It uh, makes me happy. On the inside. Got some good here. That's lovely. And now my most trusted... Combatant. It is your time to shine. Or hide. So can I shoot the objective? 
Yes. Excellent. And I've got three turns to go. I'm doing quite well. Very, very well indeed. Well, I might as well hide here. Rolling out. Hopefully no aliens will show up and murder me. But probably they will. Moving to I expect it. Let's just say that do not expect aliens to try and murder you at all times while you are playing XCOM is sheer and bloody insanity. Confirm destruction of the relay. The alien transmission is down. Eliminate any remaining hostiles and move to evac. Right, so far this mission is perfect. Hmm. Hello, you slimy little prick. Oh, you're going to panic me up. Again. No, 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 no. Please, this one. No. She's got the worst record so far. She needs to go. Ooh. Oh, you see? Vladdy, you disappoint me. <laughs> oh. Ah, nice. You won't get him so easily. But I'm pretty sure... Okay. Actually... Everyone... Is everyone in my team panicked? Except good old Virgil. I knew he was the best. Just the best. Hello. That was weird. That was weird and... Thank God. I've got another sane person. 57 compared to 32. Let's see. I could probably something insane and risky or I could take my odds. Yeah. Let's see. Ha! Huh. Guess I win those odds. I'm running low on ammo. Hmm. I suppose that's not a bad location. Sure. Let's see. Missed, and the crates didn't help, I guess. Not on my camera, though, anyway. That's that's one tiny annoyance I have, so far. Hey, wouldn't it be funny if all the aliens in the world just wanted to be peaceful and nice? Because I wouldn't mind that. I mean, sure, it's kind of fun. Putting bullets into alien after alien after alien, but hey, we could all be friends, you know. It wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Ready to rock? Probably it would be, but that's besides the point. Let's put her on Overwatch. On the Let's see if I can't. Huh? That was weird. Yep, definitely will kill that guy. That's it, I'm out! Right, so that's a bug. Um. Right! I forgot for a moment, we are actually playing a free access game. And those are filled with Annoying little bugs like that. Wow. Ready to go. Good. Wait. Yeah, I'm going to take my chances. So as I was saying, oh, she actually hit him. Impressive. Those I would not have guessed it. 
Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Well, one soldier was wounded, but thankfully it was not too serious. And once again, my rating is excellent. I'm happy with that. I would have been happier if my soldier didn't fall off a one-story building and start bugging down. But hey, these things happen all the time, I suppose. Let's see, successful shot percentage, 64.29. Not bad. Built most damage. Well done, Plowman. Made most attacks, bloody, and most under fire. Again, they apparently like shooting at the Canadian chick. Hey, I don't discriminate. Good. That was another successful mission under the command of Philip Magnus. Not bad at all. Our troops continue to exceed expectations while working with limited resources. Impressive, Commander. Well, it's not like we have a choice, is it? At least he didn't drop down and sag like a very sad excuse for a man, I suppose. And we've got more corpses. And yet another alien data cache. Good, 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 very good. Now that we've got some help, we can start clearing out the old equipment and debris from the ship to make room for new facilities. And that actually sounds lovely. Welcome to this team, Amanda. And now I'm afraid it is time to say thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye!